Have you ever thought about the power of social media? Social media has the power to make your business grow. Grow! Yeah. Why don't you let us manage your social media? Because our business is to see your business grow. Visit us at www.beastownmedia.co.za to passive renewal um, it was the idea was born in 2013 I was listening to a rave campaign um, I switched on the music and I heard a beep every couple of, of minutes and a lot of people started to phone in and I was listening to this and I actually got quite emotional about it couldn't take it I switched the radio off couldn't marry the, the trauma that those people had been through uh, to my, my kids and my family um, for two weeks I became highly emotional, tried to forget about it, didn't really work. And then one day I decided to do something about it. I had a chat with my managing director, Jackie Gilbert, sold everything of value and started writing. In terms of the song, I heard it for the first time in its completion today um, with the video. I must say it hit me, hit me in the heart a bit. Um, you know, seeing all the other artists that worked on this as well, hearing their stories and their testimonies, um, I think if you're in the performing arts, chances are you have been affected by or have affected someone's life in some way, you know, and a lot of people that are in the performing arts, myself included, have had moments in our lives where, you know, we've been um, forced to make really hard choices and or uh, face really, really strong demons, you know, and I think there's a lot of people out there that unfortunately make the wrong choices and it's our jobs um, to encourage them to make the right ones you know and being involved in an initiative like this it's remarkable it really is remarkable my relationship with rada began in 2013 um, i met i met jp the founder backstage of joburg day and we started chatting and we hit it off and from there i was uh, commissioned to do the first compilation volume one which was the pop compilation and from there uh, the studio, we, we got commissioned again to do the, the Inspire album and um, it was a, an amazing experience just working on the, the album with all these artists, you know, it was, it was really special and the track that I, I ended up doing uh, for the album is a song by Bob Marley called Three Little Birds and um, I grew up listening to Bob Marley and, you know, really like absorbing his message and Three Little Birds was one of those songs that just resonated with me. It's one of the most inspiring tracks ever written and it gets me up in the morning, you know. So I thought, you know, if, that, if it makes me feel that way, it's obviously the right song to perform. And um, I just wanted to get people up in the morning. Everything's going to be alright, you know, there's little birds sitting on your windowsill, chirping, singing songs. It's a good day. Every day is a good day. So We've been very blessed that and, and privileged that a lot of a lot of top top South African artists have jumped uh, on board with the Rada Volume uh, Rada Earth Volume One album CD, and also with now the Rada Inspire CD. We've uh, been in collaboration with the Color Purple, where we endorsed each other, and that's a musical. If you have time to go see, it's absolutely brilliant, world class, and it's all about empowerment. Um, our sponsors, we've, we've got so many sponsors, like I said, without, if you actually look at the growth of RADA um, to what it's achieved now with all the, the functions and the launches and the orphanages and the homes that we have, it's simply, you could phys physically couldn't do it without all the, all the help that we get. But it all starts from the ground up with the normal uh, individual South African that has contributed towards what we're doing today. My involvement with the album was sort of two-factor. I have a song on the album. Um, I'm an artist seven and um, I did Fix You by Coldplay. And um, on the other side of it, I was also involved in the production of the album. So some production stuff, also mixed some of the stuff. 
um, with um, Howie Comerink and, and Neil Engel, um, who's a dream team to work with. They're all super good at what they do and it's always a pleasure working with them. Um, and in terms of being involved, right, I've been involved for a couple of years now actually with, with them. I initially got involved with, with the first compilation album also as a producer and also ha having a song on the compilation. Um, and since then my involvement with them has just sort of grown. I think it does reflect the times that we're in in the sense that um, just firstly with the diversity on the album in terms of genres and artists from all kinds of different backgrounds. And I think the nice thing uh, about this album and what, what I realized sort of through the process of, of you know working with all the different artists is that they all have, uh, there's a slightly personal uh, uh, sort of link between Rada's um, campaign and, and their own lives and, and I think it touched them in a way that they felt they wanted to jump on board. And so it's not just an ordinary like recording production project. You know. These artists are, are seen on TV and stuff, but the realism that was taking place in studio, it was so real because at the end of the day we've been, and some of us have experienced this firsthand in our communities at home. So it was only it was such an experience seeing these artists being so real and expressing themselves. Basically what we mean by that is you become more aware. You know, we understand we're a very practical organization, we understand life is tough. Um, and township life is any worse. People have got uh, many difficulties to go through. What we're saying is Open up your awareness. Don't so don't live life with blinkers on. Have more, uh, be, be more aware of your surroundings. So we now marry the awareness um, with action. So now you're now aware of your surroundings. Be more mindful of others. Have more respect for yourself. Have more respect for others. Because life is all about choice. So when it links to the the, the, the taxi man, it's more about having respect for others on the road. Reduce that um, that road rage the anxiousness of getting to work, getting to work with a good vibe. It's all about, like I said, that choice in that split moment, trying to make sure that you just think a little bit clearer and differently um, when you're under pressure. Yeah, you know, so, man, part of an artist's job is to reflect the times, um, to tell the story. That's why, funny enough, this morning, morning I was actually singing of the song, um, which is, which probably to most people doesn't really mean much, which is, uh, you know, the Stevie Wonder I just called to say I love you, and I was telling a friend of mine that, when I heard that, you know, whenever I hear that song, it takes me straight back to, um, to 1987. I can see my dad, you know, like on the bicycle in the streets of Kwanobu, yeah. Because, it, because, it, because that's what songs are, you know. Um, songs are sort of like, um, how do you say it again? Like they, it's like the music that, the music that you hear from films. Do you know what I mean? Like they remind you of a specific scene, uh, but obviously this time it's a real scene in your life. And that's why I feel that, you know, this song that we have done as uh, I'll just, for lack of a better word, I'll call us the Rada artists, <laughs> have sort of come together to collaborate on, uh, really sort of reflect the time that we're in right now as a country and the need that is there. I think that for me, the most important thing in any song is the message, is the story, is the heart, and, and what it is that you're trying to say. Um, this song specifically definitely relates to 2018, it relates to the youth, it relates to um, you know, people who need hope. And I think that South Africa right now, we are holding on to hope and we are hoping, holding on to a positive future and that you know, things will turn around. Um, music has always been a beautiful way to get people to feel inspired and to feel that hope. We are living in these times. You know, and through the music that's being offered to South Africa through the Rada campaign, we are actually triggering the subconscious mind to be always aware because we sometimes tend to fall into the trap of being ignorant that there is real life out there within the circle that we're living in and the levels that we're living in. So definitely the narrative is there, definitely. The awareness is there and definitely this album is going to create and have a great impact on the people that are going to receive the message that's being narrated to you. Rada Inspire is a message from us to everyone and it's all cover songs and it's classic cover songs. Um, you, you probably would have heard a lot of the songs from Rada Volume, uh, Rada volume 1. It actually did quite well um, on the charts. But it's all about awareness so that people listen to the music as they hear the message and also the artists that sing for us and, and, and come together with us, they spread the word of inspire, inspiration and God inspire and, and empowerment.
stories like these, go to www.social-tv.co.za. Subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on our social medias.